welcome back to my YouTube channel and this is Castelligan Vlogs and today we'll be talking about derivatives of exponential functions. So sit back and relax because I'll be teaching to you on how to get the derivatives of exponential functions. So we have here the formula for derivative of exponential functions. We have d24 and d25. So all throughout we are going to use it one uh, so we are going to solve the problems. And we have a different shape in each of the following functions. We have eight problems to be solved. And I hope that you will also be doing your part as a student or task as a student. So we have to solve it together. We are going to solve. I will just solve it one and uh, try this that you are going to solve. So this all, let's start with number one. So y is equal to e raised to 4x. So this is the form of derivative of e raised to u is equal to e u du over dx. So first is we're going to find for our u. Our u is here is 4x. And our du over dx is equal to 4. So therefore we have here derivative of y with respect to x is equal to e u du over dx. So we have e raised to u which is 4x times the derivative of du over dx which is 4. So therefore dy over dx or with respect to x is equal to 4 e raised to 4x. So this is the answer. For number 2, y is equal to negative x squared. So first is we have to find for our u. Our u here is equal to negative x squared. Our du over dx is equal to negative 2x. So the formula dy over dx is equal to e raised to u du over dx. So therefore we have e raised to negative x squared times the derivative of this d over dx. So dy over dx is equal to negative 2x e raised to negative x squared. So this is the answer. For number 3, y is equal to e raised to x over x. So we could have this one in the form of u over v. So dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv over dx over v squared. So we have here the, pro the answer. So we have here x times the derivative of this one e raised to x minus what is our u which is e raised to x the derivative of x is equal to 1 over v squared we have x squared. So dy over dx is equal to we have to factor e raised to x here and the remaining is x minus 1 over x squared. So this is the answer. So we have here number 4 y is equal to e raised to x x squared the quantity of x squared minus 2x plus 2. So we have here the solution. So this is in the form of product. So dy over dx is equal to u dv over dx plus v du over dx. So first is we have u which is e raised to x. This is our u and this is our v. And the derivative of this one is 2x minus 2 plus x squared minus 2x plus 2 times the derivative of this part is e raised to x. So we have here e raised to x factor. So therefore we have here 2x minus 2 plus x squared minus 2x plus 2. So cancel this part. So the remaining is dy over dx is equal to e raised to x, x squared. 
So this is the answer. So number 5, number 5 is equal to y is equal to e raised to sine x. So we have here our u is equal to sine x. Our du over dx is equal to cos x. So dy over dx, e raised to u is equal to e raised to u, du over dx. So therefore we have e raised to sine x times cos x. So dy over dx is equal to e raised to sine x cos x. So this is the answer for number 5. For number 6, we have here the solution. y is equal to e raised to x minus e raised to negative x over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x v. So take note, we have here this in the form of u and v. So dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv over dx over v squared. So first copy the v which is e raised to x plus e raised to negative x times the derivative of this one is e raised to x this will become plus e raised to negative x then minus the u here is e raised to x minus e raised to negative x times the derivative of this one will become e raised to x minus e raised to negative x all over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x then square so multiply we have to simplify this part this will become e raised to 2x plus e raised to 0 because x plus negative x that is equal to 0 plus e raised to 0 plus e raised to negative 2x and minus e raised to all right this is e raised to 2x first here and this is e raised to 2x minus e raised to 0 and this one is minus e raised to 0 and this one is plus e raised to negative 2x okay all over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x then square okay so we have here if we're going to distribute this part, this will become e raised to negative a raised to 2x. This e raised to this will become equals to minus 1. And distribute here will become plus 1. And this is 1 also. This is a plus 1. And minus e raised to negative 2x. So the remaining here is e raised to 2x plus 1 plus 1 plus e raised to negative 2x minus e raised to negative e raised to 2x plus 1 plus 1 minus e raised to negative 2x over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x squared so cancel this part cancel so the remaining is dy over dx is equal to 4 over e raised to x plus e raised to negative x quantity square so this is the answer for number six for number seven y is equal to ln sine x so first is we have here 
or u is equal to sine e raised to x or du over dx is equal to cos e raised to x and the derivative of this one is e raised to x so therefore dy over dx is equal to 1 over u du over dx so 1 over sine e raised to x times the derivative of this one is cos e raised to x e raised to x times e raised to x this will become sine and cos is equal to dy over dx is equal to cot e raised to x times e raised to x or we can have this one as dy over dx is equal to e raised to x cot e raised to x that is number seven and we have here the last number 8, y is equal to x raised to 5, e raised to negative 3 ln x. This is in the form of product. So this is our u and this is our v. So our u is equal to x raised to 5, so our du is equal to over dx is equal to 5x raised to 4. And our V here is equal to E raised to negative 3 ln of X. So our DV over DX is equal to E raised to negative 3 ln X times the derivative of this one is negative 3 over X. Why? ln X is equal to 1 over X. Derivative of this one. So therefore, we have here, the result is negative 3 e raised to negative 3 ln x over x. So by the use of product, so dy over dx is equal to, we have here, copy u dv u is x raised to 5 derivative of this part is negative 3 e raised to negative 3 ln x over x plus e raised to negative 3 ln x times derivative of this one is 5 x raised to 4 so cancel this part. So the remaining is dy over dx is equal to x raised to 4, negative 3, e raised to negative 3 ln x plus e raised to negative 3 ln x, 5x raised to 4. So this one, e raised to ln x is equal to the same here x raised to 4 times negative 3 over 1 over x. Okay, so 1 over x, uh, x, x cube rather, x cube. Okay, plus 5 x raised to 4 that is 1 over x cubed so how do you explain that one why is it is equal to x cubed so let us have first this one so y is equal to e raised to negative 3 ln x so both sides we have to take ln of y is equal to ln of e raised to negative 3 ln of x so ln y is equal to negative 3 ln x ln e. ln e is equal to 1. So therefore, ln y is equal to negative 3 ln x. 
So we have here y is equal to, we have, we could express this one as x raised to negative 3. So y is equal to 1 over x cubed. So this is the reason why is it 1 over x cubed. Okay, so they got a point. So now we have to cancel this part. So the remaining is negative 3x and cancel her here this part. This is plus 5x. So therefore the answer is 2x. So this is dy over dx. Okay, that's number 8. Try this. Differentiate each of the following functions. So take note to answer the one here below. Just comment your answer. Differentiate each of the following functions. You have three items. I hope you do so. Thank you so much for tuning into this Casaligan Vlogs. I hope everyone you were entertained and you were able to cope with and you internalize all the problems. Thank you and God bless.